Hey there all craft cider lovers, welcome to another cider review. We have a very very cool interesting cider on the table tonight guys. Uh, and the look of it, one of the hands down, one of the coolest bottles I've ever seen. For this one guys, we are going to the Cotswold Cider Company from the UK, Sester Coles Hill in England. Taking a look at there, no-brainer. Described as a classic dry cider. There we go. It's a one liter glass bottle with a plastic twist top. This one clocks in at 6% ABV, as you can see there. One liter. No-brainer is a classic still cider, carefully crafted from our blend cider apples. The emphasis is on simple, pure ingredients to form a well-rounded, fruity refreshment, leaving you dreaming of, an, of the orchard. It's a no-brainer. Cool. Nice kind of handle there. Uh, some more uh, there on the uh, cider. The Cotswold Cider Company. Cool-looking bottle. Hands down. Let's get it open, guys, see what we're going to get. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. So it's a still cider. There we go. Some nice sediments on the bottom of this lovely looking. There, we're gonna pour a little bit more in. There we go. Right, let's stop right there. Okay. In view. So what do we have? <laughs> Look at that. Now, it's a nice, uh, hazy, golden color. Of course, no carbonation. It's a still cider. Look at that. So definitely some haze to it. Looking good. Let's get the aroma on this bad boy. Oh yeah, that's some classic cider smell right there. Bitter cider apples. Yeah, tannins. Oh yeah, it's a very, very strong smell. Smells of a really, really classic, dry uh, British cider. Fruity. Fruity bitter taste, not taste, smell, fruity bitter smell. Okay, so with that said, guys, let's dive in, see what this one brings to the table. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah, it's very dry. Very, very dry. It's almost leaving my mouth totally bone dry, actually. Yeah, it's very, very kind of intense in its flavors. Uh, I can say right off the bat that this is just my personal preference here, my personal subjective preference, but I would have wanted this be, to be a carbonated number. I would have preferred a carbonated number right here. But hey, as it stands, it's not a bad cider. Again. Oh. Yeah, so I would say... You get uh, definitely some uh, apples in there. You get kind of a black tea vibe about it. So there's definitely kind of a black tea uh, element to the cider. Definitely a lot of tannins in there. Slight bitterness at the back end. Dry through and through. Mm. It's almost like oaky. You know, it's kind of almost like like this one has been stored on oak barrels or something. I don't know if it has. Uh, uh, six months maturation. Uh, all right. But they don't state that this one has, the cider has been matured on the kind of oak barrels or anything. Oak vats, something of the kind. Doesn't really say that. Okay. But I mean, it's not a bad cider, guys. Uh, final sip. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 
For being a six percenter, it's easy drinking. It's very, very dry. Perhaps a little bit too dry for my taste. And I would have wanted this one to be carbonated. I think that would have made the cider a little bit more refreshing. Uh, would have increased the drinkability factor to it as well. But as it stands, it's a, it's a nice cider. It's a nice, still dry cider. Uh, very much English. A lot of tannins. Oak. Yeah, black tea, apples, that's what I'm getting. For me, guys, uh, gotta say, plus for the bottle, very, very cool. So, But for me, overall, I would give the cider a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, not one of the best I've ever tasted, but definitely not one of the worst ones either. Kind of a nice in-between cider. Uh, thank you for watching.